All right, guys, we made it back. Everything actually went really well uh, and very fast. It was that sensor right there. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Today, we got a slight change of plans. We we need to take the Jeep Wrangler Black Bear, well, to the doctor. He's kind of sick. He actually has this whole like ABS slash traction control problem, and I'd love to fix it, but at the same time, it's kind of under warranty, so I don't want to mess anything up, but but let me, let me show you what it's doing. What we have is like when I put the key into the ignition, start the vehicle up, give it a second, then what you'll see is the traction control and the ABS light are constantly on, and well, that poses a slight problem driving down the road. So what you actually have to do is when you go driving down the road, you turn the traction control system off. And if you're lucky, you'll make it to the dealership. And babe is going to drive it to the dealership. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to drive it? I don't mind. It's all right. I'll drive it. You sure? Yeah. I don't mind. Like what? I, how can I break? I mean, I can, I can do <laughs> just fine. I don't break anything any worse than it already is. But anyways, we're gonna take this up to the dealership, drop it off and see if they can't fix it up really fast. If we're lucky, we'll get it back today, but we don't know. Fingers crossed. And it's cold. So it we're gonna let it warm up a little bit. Okay, traction control is off. Yeah, but the lights are on. Well, the lights are beyond, but the traction control says off, right? Yeah. Okay, leave it off and just take it easy. I got your back. Yeah, hopefully I can get there without any issues. All right, guys, we're headed up to take the Jeep to the dealership right now. Bobby is in front of us. Hi, everybody. And well, Shelby, Shelby's with me. It's safer that way. Yeah. I just wish I was driving the Black Bear. I'm just worried about it engaging, and next thing you know, my car starts to stop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. All right, guys, we made it back. Everything actually went really well uh, and very fast. It was that sensor right there. And honestly, when we got there, they kind of figured that out in the first two minutes. It took them only about 30 minutes to replace it. It wasn't actually that bad. All right, guys, I greatly apologize for not touching base a little bit sooner, but Bobby and I got busy, tied up, working on work stuff, and honestly, that's her right there behind you making all that racket. <laughs> I mean, guys, if you guys don't know already, do me a favor, check the links there in the description. We have a BGTV merch store where we sell all kinds of different things, some made in Texas products, in addition to Jeep products, definitely Jeep products, and we're constantly evolving and growing that product line every day yeah. every day but guys i just wanted to talk a little bit about the events of today and what happened with the abs system guys honestly those folks over at lithia chrysler dodge really treated us really well they, they, did. they really did honestly as soon as bobby got out of the jeep they were able to plug in their scan tool and find out exactly where the problem was right away Within they knew exactly minutes. what they needed mm -hmm. to do and the repair took probably about 30 minutes. Honestly, within an hour, everything was done. Thing is, is if you run into this particular problem on your Jeep Wrangler, guys, it gets challenging because, well, there's four different sensors on the vehicle. Two in the rear, two in the front. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard to figure out exactly which one of those has failed. So you can replace all four if you want to. And honestly, I'm a Bubba, and that's probably what I would have done. Probably. If the Jeep wasn't under warranty. I mean, honestly. But here's the thing, what you can do is you can go down to Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, uh, AutoZone, any, any one of the local auto parts stores will most likely be able to run a scan on your vehicle. Now keep in mind, this is not just an ODB2 scan, it's actually an ODB2 slash ABS scan, I guess. Maybe that's oh, what, yeah. I don't know what you call it, yeah. but it's got to read the codes from the ABS system. And that code will tell you exactly which sensor it is that you need to replace. The cool thing is, they're only $15, maybe $20. Bucks. They're, they're, they're cheap to replace, and honestly, they don't take long at all. 
So if you're having this type of problem with your Jeep Wrangler, definitely t just go have it scanned. Uh, turn the traction control system off. Go drive it to the local auto parts store, have it scanned, buy the part. When you get home, fix it, and you'll be up and running in no time. I'm excited. It's it's back running on the road and everything. Honest, that was really, my feelings were really hurt. You saw it. You guys saw the video. She was half tempted to buy JL just because of that one problem. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, we are on this debt freedom approach, so we're not spending any money. But right now, I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. We're going to spend some time on the griddle. We're going to griddle up some fajitas tonight. Fajitas. Fajitas tonight. We're not going to vlog it, but, but guys, if you are interested in uh, our fajita burritos, uh, definitely do me a favor, check the link there in the description. Well, I'll put it in the eye in the sky. Te check it out, because, well, we do a lot of different things on our griddle, and, well, that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, sounds so, great. Guys, we're going to wrap up the video right now, right here. If you guys like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video, and you want to stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, do me a favor. Please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.